The community of Millet is among the first to benefit from the government's island-wide road rehabilitation program. On Wednesday, 16th October, during a walk through the community, Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canneries, Honorable Dominic Fede, placed focus on the recently rehabilitated Venus Road. Minister Fede expressed his satisfaction with how swiftly the Ministry of Infrastructure remedied the situation and was happy to see the return of minibus drivers to the route. Well, I'm very, very proud. I welcome the return of the um, Millet bus drivers to Venus and servicing this route. Uh, we have quite a few residents living here, dozens actually. So it really is um, quite uh, a welcoming news to me to see that they have come back. So this is really, really good. Um, I want to thank the Ministry of Infrastructure for the tremendous work that they have done in uh, repairing this uh, facility. Road rehabilitation forms part of an island-wide infrastructure development model. While on the walkthrough, a visit was made to the Millet Combined Primary School. Here, Honorable Dominic Fede met with the principal and got a tour of the school plant. Principal of the Millet Combined School, Sophia Ogis Lamantine, shared some remarks on the rehabilitation and progress thus far. Concerning the rehabilitation work, we had uh, um, renovation of the present structure. We also had an extension erected to accommodate the students of the infant school. We had uh, some infrastructural work as well. We had a barrier erected for student safety. We had the resurfacing of the yard, student safety again. We had additional washroom space for the additional student population and staff population. We are quite satisfied with what we have received so far. Minister Fede spoke about the major injection of funds allocated for school plant rehabilitation and highlighted other successful projects in the constituency of ancillary canneries. I mean, when uh, our government assumed office, um, the government was spending somewhere in the region of $1 million to rehabilitate, I think, about 100 schools in St. Lucia. It would mean that each school would have less than $10,000 or somewhere in the region of $10,000. Now we're spending in the region or the vicinity of $10 million annually to renovate our schools. What we are seeing here today is the impact of that decision made by our government. And that decision has brought about significant um, improvement here. We see um, expansion to the rail. We see a new IT lab. We see a merger between the infant school and the primary schools, both that were underpopulated. But the work to get them done uh, to re renovate classrooms and to upgrade toilet facilities um, was beautifully done based on uh, the works that I've seen here today. There are a few minor touches. Um, the works are just completed and uh, I think generally the, the principal and, and the teachers are quite happy with what has happened and I think that um, you know continued dialogue with the Ministry of Education, myself, the rep, uh, we will work to perfect this institution. A lot of work has been done in this constituency to um, the, a new assembly hall at the Jack Mill School, for example. Uh, we've also redid the roofs at the canneries and ancillary schools and upgraded uh, bathroom facilities at the ancillary primary school as well. So quite a number of work has been done on our schools from the government's um, increase attention to uh, the deficiencies of school maintenance island-wide and I'm very happy to see that um, you know our teachers are are seeing that kind of help. The parliamentary rep praised the school for their continued outstanding performance in the district and commended the leadership and staff for their quality contribution to the molding and shaping of young lives.